Happy Friday this week. Garrett, um, my first question to you is, how are they going to jam all of those gigantic egos into a hotel in Chicago? Is there one big enough You know, they try every year, and, and it seems to overflow a little bit. It gets a little touch and go in there. All right, you know, this is going to be Mike Riley's first appearance. He's excited. Big Ten Media Days. Husker fans I are know, excited for this. Yeah, I mean, do you think he's going to be a little shocked by all of the attention he's been getting? I mean, the guy's been in Corvallis for the past 14 <laughs> years. Kind of off the beaten path. Uh, people take football very seriously in the Big Ten. You know, I actually think people are going to enjoy seeing Mike Riley's more calm demeanor. He's going to be a complete 180 from Bo Pelini. That's what he's going to be, a complete 180. But I think people might miss Bo a little bit because Bo brought that energy and you, you oh, heard Bo Pelini. Oh, they, they, they yeah, miss, the guy with the cat. I think they might miss him a little bit. The energy, he was a little bit weird, a little wild. Um, Mike Riley is kind of more of a calm type of person, individual. He's very, see, that's, that's, I hope that's not a problem because there are only 13 egos they're going to be at meeting. Because <laughs> I, I mean, I, Mike Riley, he's, he's such a nice guy. Um, some of these other coaches are just not nice guys. Absolutely not. <laughs> Definitely not. Now, joining Riley in Chicago, in Chicago at the media days are going to be uh, three of his players. We've got uh, the quarterback, Tommy Armstrong, Jordan Westerkamp, and Nate Gary. No one's surprised. Riley's be ha and handing the keys to the offense to his returning starting quarterback, the captain, Tommy Armstrong. The only quarterback with substantial experience, Garrett, and Riley really seems to be big on that experience thing. I'm actually a Tommy Armstrong believer. I think he's had two okay to solid years. I think last year he was really underrated. His numbers last year were pretty good. He was over 3,000 total yards. He combined for almost 30 touchdowns by himself. This is a guy that can get you wins in the Big Ten, and he's proven he can win in the Big Ten. He's won a lot of games as the starter of this football team. I think he is very important this year. He needs to take that one more step to, to step from pretty good to very good. Because they're going to need him to be more than a game manager this season also. I mean, Amir Abdul is gone. Kenny Bell is gone. He's going <laughs> to have to win some games on his own, I think. And I think I'm not can. sure if he can do it. I think he can. I, I okay. think he is All the right. type of quarterback that seems to rise to the occasion. We've seen him come back against Michigan. We saw late in the Michigan State game, he seemed to find an extra switch, an extra gear. And we have to remember, he's only a junior. The first two years, he's a freshman and sophomore. Yeah. And people were very concerned with him making mistakes and looking inconsistent. Guess what? That's what freshmen and sophomores do. It's the junior senior year where we're supposed to see that experience really set in and him take that next step and maturity and consistency, I think it could happen this year. Well, one of his security blankets are going to be another returning player, another captain, wide receiver Jordan Westerkamp, one of those grizzled veterans on the <laughs> receiving core, always seems to make the big plays or the spectacular plays, and they're going to need him to do that this season if they want to try to get to a good bowl game or possibly, dare I say, Garrett, into the playoff? Playoffs? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Playoffs? I'm just worried about winning another game. <laughs> I think the hardest part about this team as far as looking ahead at records this season is we're still not 100% sure what Riley's team is going to look like. Why not, Garrett? Because we haven't seen what he does yet. We've seen one Valid spring game. point. Okay. We've seen one All spring right. game. I thought maybe you could look <laughs> in your crystal ball or something. No, um, what I am convinced that's going to happen is that Jordan Westerkamp is going to make the consistent play because that's what he always does. He's so consistent. He's kind of like the safety blanket for the quarterback. Security blanket. That's right. He is Tommy Armstrong's whoopee, Garrett. <laughs> Do you I have think a whoopee? I don't, but I, I think had this you should tell like him. I when I was really well. On Thursday or Friday when we when we talk with Jordan Westerkamp, ask him if he is uh, Tommy Armstrong's whoopee. I want to hear that conversation. I just might do that. I, I'm excited for that. Now, on the other side of the football, we have um, Nate Garrett. This guy changed positions a couple years ago, and he has really turned into quite a leader. And talk about a guy that makes big plays. Led the team in interceptions last year. And he always seems to be in the right place at the right time. Ball hawk. You need guys like that in the secondary. You need people that change field position with turnovers, guys that can get the ball back for your offense, and they can stop big plays because he's such a good safety way in the back row, not allowing people to get deep on him. I really like Gary's game, and I think he's going to be a key to a good defense this year. Now, this next